Do not condemn the innocent in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for July the 16, 2021, according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath, and his disciples were hungry, and began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and ate the showbread, which was not lawful for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests? Have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? Yet I say to you that in this place there is one greater than the temple. But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is, is Lord even of the Sabbath. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Today it is very clear how the apostles have become the new priests. The Lord is explaining to the Pharisees, taking the examples of the priests of the Old Testament, and telling him, they are the priests of my new covenant. He is doing it very clearly. But then he says, if you have understood what it means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. Well, why is that? Let us think just for one second. If I would be a Jew, a good abiding Jew, I would take my lamb and offer it in holocaust, and then I would turn around and say to God, We're even, Lord, for the day. I've done what you've asked me, so we're fine. High five. Okay? I don't owe you anything until tomorrow. If tomorrow you command me and you give me the chance to again give you the, the Holocaust, I will be even. But then uh, that makes the Lord a liar. Because in the psalm, he says, no living man is guile, is guiltless before the Lord. And then we have to go to the mercy. God is merciful in receiving our own offerings, which we do not have anything to offer to Him, except for the gift and the offering of the Lord Himself, who offered Himself to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as God, as an Immaculate Lamb, but it's not ours. It is He that gives us Himself so that we can offer Him back. And in doing that, to learn how to be obedient, which is very important. The Lord says, do not condemn the guiltless. As I said before, the Lord states that His apostles and, his, and their successors are priests. So then we are guiltless, because we're doing what we are being commanded. Not that we are guiltless all over across, all across, no. As long as we do as we are commanded, we are guiltless. We also have to look around and refrain from condemning others. We have to judge, starting like I said a few days ago, with ourselves. Judge yourself whether you are living according to the will of God. You can judge others, but do not condemn them. Let the final word be for God. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.